with Simon following the 2-1 defeat to FC Halifax Town. Bit of a blow to lose, but a good performance. Yeah, we're really just looking at the performance levels and want to continual improvement each game. Uh, I think we're getting that. And the, the work ethic, super. Right from the first whistle, we wanted it so much. And um, you know, for a friendly, the intensity was there. And we expect results to follow because of that. There's a lot of change in the second half, but we started with a really young team and threw all the lads in that haven't had as many minutes and they deserve an opportunity and I, I thought they did themselves uh, justice. And so for a friendly match, it did look quite a feisty affair on the, uh, the pitch. Did that worry you at any stage? No, not at all. Not at all. Two honest teams. Um, we're very honest indeed. And you know, when you've got desire like we have, we, all, we really want it. We really want success for the club. Um, tackles are going to go in, but uh, it wasn't a malicious tackle in the game. Now, you surprised a few people with your lineup. I think a lot of people sort of expected the same lineup that you'd used in the last two matches. But this time you went with the likes of, you know, Louis and uh, Harry in the team from the start. I mean, what did you think they brought to the game? Well, freshness, I thought, the two 19-year-olds, and uh, they performed very well indeed. They, they, they're fighting for a career in the game, and you could see how much they wanted it out there. Uh, every cha challenge, every tackle, every header was challenged for by those two. It's, it, and like Luke Dean as well, he's got a point to prove. And I love players with a point to prove, and he's got to be relentless, the pressure on the ball. Um, uh, off the ball, sorry, and we've got to regain it as fast as we can. And players like that, we've got every chance. We've seen in the last couple of matches, you know, especially against teams that have obviously been from the Conference Premier, but it's looked like a, a lot of the times during the games that we haven't been able to tell who's been the Conference Premier side and who's been the Conference North side. Again, that's going to be really pleasing for you at this stage of pre season. Well, absolutely. I mean, you, you, we've played against two teams, Grimsby and Halifax, there, who are expected to be in the promotion next, uh, come the end of next season um, for the league above us. And they outwork teams at times, and I thought for 60, 70 minutes, that's proportion of the game. Um, we really, it was evident how much we wanted it. And if we do that, we've got the ability to score goals, and we've got the ability to open teams up, as we have shown in the last two games. Now we've got um, a whole city side coming on Monday, which is going to be a different proposition. They're supposed to bring in quite a few first team players as well. You know, how, how do we sort of prepare for something like that? Because obviously premiership players at the CNG Stadium, not something we see all the time. No, it's superb and hopefully the fans will turn up for us. Um, I'm sure a lot of the whole fans will. They'll be wanting to see some of their, of their new signings. Um, for us, we know our shape. Um, the lads are, are organised. We have to make sure when we're tired uh, that we get our shape quickly. Um, especially when the ball goes off the pitch, we have to organise quickly and you know, the leaders have to grab a few and, and make sure we're compact. Um, but the signs are good. And lastly, um, now your narrowing of the pitch has certainly caused a lot of conversation amongst the town fans. Um, some, some are definitely for it and some are not entirely sure. You know, what have you learnt so far in the three games with it? I think it works. So we're happy with it. <laughs> um, not giving anything I, away. I, I think the system we play um, it gets the best out of our group and, and the fact is if your players are happy um, that goes a long way towards um, what, what we'll end up with you know, dimensions wise I mean it was incorrectly marked out uh, too narrow as you can see we had two lines out there today which caused a bit of confusion um, but we know the dimensions that we want and it's just a case of marking it out correctly and off we go What do you say to the, play, uh, the people that sort of say oh, it will stifle wingers play? Um, well if you're good enough you can surface and we've got a great surface out there and uh, the strikers can play a little bit closer to each other given um, it, it being more narrow. It's actually in the FA website that it's the advisory uh, dimensions for a game of football so not that the FA get everything right uh, but um, I think the players are, are pleased to play on a good surface and um, it, it's a little bit narrow but for me we look tight as a bunch out there, we look out a bunch and that, that's my main concern. That's great. Thank you very much, Simon. Cheers.